All right, hello everybody. Welcome to my first play of a little indie game that came out about three months ago uh, called Little Miss Lonely. Not getting a lot of attention over on Steam. It is $3.99 and it looks like a short narrative, uh, kind of an adventure side-scrolling game. And it talks about or it deals with childhood uh, fears and relationships. So we play as a nine-year-old girl named Robin. And uh, like I say, not getting much attention at all. Only one user review in over three months on Steam. So we're going to go ahead and check this game out and see if it's worth the price. See what it's about. And uh, I don't know how long it's going to last. I know that uh, one of the reviews or the review that's on there said it lasts about 45 minutes. So that would probably mean it's going to take me about an hour. But anyway, we'll be back with my first play and a uh, look at this little short narrative about childhood relationships. We'll be right back right after this. All right, welcome back everybody to my first play of Little Miss Lonely. And when we launch the game, it kind of starts like this and we have what? two options, start and exit. Biscuit. And uh, I read something about how the voices in this game are all backwards, are all recorded backwards or something. So that's gonna make it a little bit weird. Uh, I don't know what the reasoning is for that. But if we scroll our cursor over here to the right, what? we do have some uh, options here you can go back to windowed mode or go full screen here uh, music we have uh, eight effects nine and voice ten the voices here are going to be a little bit weird so i think i'm going to go ahead and turn those down uh, just because if they're backwards i don't think that's going to give us a whole lot of uh you know information or detail it might be more confusing than anything but I think maybe just hearing the tone of the voice might be important. So we'll leave it about five. And we're gonna go ahead and start this game and see what it's about right now. Okay, um, so our cursor kind of moves around. Why don't we go ahead and center it here? I'll just leave my cursor up here. Uh, this is a game that's controlled with basically A and D, I think, and the E key to uh, interact with things. So here we are, and we say, Monte. Okay, Monte. Um, Monte. Yes, no, oh, Monte. I know you're around here somewhere, Monte. Okay, this has got to be that teddy bear, and it looks like it's under the bed. Um, I guess she's in bed. <laughs> Yeah, she got out of bed looking for Monte, her teddy bear. Well, we already know that Monte is going to be right under here. Is this her bed? Hey, Maybe here? Oh, yeah. There you are. Yay, Monte. All right. Pencils what? Pencils, paper, and uh, pocket money. Okay. That's what's on our dresser, I guess. I like how she's gripping her teddy bear like a little girl would. Some weird looking uh, house shoes there. Looks like she's in her PJs or something. Okay. Huh. I'm feeling a bit peckish. How about you? Uh-huh. That's kind of cute. So, peckish, I believe, is a British word for hungry, in case anybody out there doesn't know. So she's saying she feels a little bit hungry. And she's asking her teddy bear, Monte, if he's hungry too. Well, of course, right? All right, hold them tight again. All of my clothes, as you would expect in a dresser, okay. And then we got a picture here, it looks like of, uh, Mom, Dad, and her in the middle. Sunshine, the house, the flowers outside. Very nice. Got it hanging on our wall. I drew that. Well, I would expect that. 
Look at that, like, collage of a dragon or whatever. Huh. I can't interact with it, though. The music got dark all of a sudden. What's going on? The hall. My room. Okay, and again, to go into another room, you just go up to it and hit E for interact. Mom and Dad's room. Okay, I know I'm hungry, but why don't we go see what Mom and Dad's up to? Probably sleeping? Like, I'm thinking she's getting up in the middle of the night or really early in the morning. I don't know. Just a lot of paper on the, uh, the nightstand there. Okay, we see uh, Mom and Dad, I guess, uh, under the covers there. Can't see a lot of detail. They're sound asleep, I guess. Half of it is empty. Half of Mom and Dad's uh, wardrobe is empty. That's not good. Mom has a lovely dress. Dad? Can't interact with Dad. Can't interact with Mom. Hello? What's it say? So big and warm. Huh. Well, of course they got a big warm bed. It's mom and dad, right? Okay. A whole lot of nothing. I like the art style in this game. The kitchen's down there. Okay, I, I won't go down to the kitchen. I know you're a little bit hungry. But... The toilet? Um... My bathroom. I had a bath yesterday, Monte. I don't need a bath. Huh. How about... Well, I know when I first get up in the middle of the night or in the morning, I have to go go potty. Maybe she has to go pee? I don't need the toilet. Okay, okay, fair enough. I'm hungry. How about we wash our hands since we're going to go eat, right? <laughs> My hands are clean. Of course your hands are clean. Oh my gosh, her name is Robin. Robin. Oh, Robin, just like a nine-year-old kid. Never happened to wash their hands. Their hands are always clean. Kids think their hands are clean. If they haven't just been playing in the mud and have mud all over their hands, then their hands are clean. Of course. We get on the stairs. What is this? Dad usually buys flowers. Okay. Nana gave us that. Nana. Nana must be Grandma. Probably Mom's mom. Dad said it's a fire door. Okay. Back upstairs. My school hat. Huh. The cupboard. Okay, they're... My hula hoop. It's mom and dad. Okay, why is a picture of mom and dad in the closet? Okay, guys, with her going in mom and dad's room while they're sleeping and seeing the, the uh, wardrobe is half empty, and now seeing a picture of mom and dad hidden away in the cupboard, I'm starting to think that mom and dad don't have the best relationship or the best marriage right now. That's kind of sad, if that's the case. Mom lets me ride it when she's hovering. Oh, how cute is that? So, she, Mom vacuums the house and she lets her daughter, even at nine years old, look how big she is compared to the vacuum. Oh, break that vacuum. Now, I can understand letting your little kid, you know, sit on the top of the uh, vacuum cleaner when you're like two or three. But at nine years old, that's a little bit big to be right on the top of the vacuum cleaner. It's still cute, but... Lots of Nana's things. Okay. And my bike? Oh, Mom's bike. Okay. So this is like a closet. Okay. We have to be quiet. She's in there. Who's in there? We already saw Mom and Dad. Who's in there? Mom puts the bills in there. Okay. Oh, look how she's sneaking. Oh, wow. 
I hear a male voice. So she said she's in there, but I'm hearing a male talking. This might be a bad idea, Monte. I love you. What is going on here? I love you. I love you. I love you. What is going on here? Robin! They keep saying I love you. Okay, this is a... Okay, this is a... At first, I didn't know what this was. I thought it was a bed, but it's the couch. It's the couch and the TV's in the background. Yeah, two people are on the couch. Robin. I said go to bed 10 minutes ago. And don't forget to brush your teeth. Okay, I guess we gotta get out of here. Okay, I did read something somewhere on the forums or something like that uh, of this game saying there's a babysitter, so... I'm assuming that's the babysitter. The babysitter has a boyfriend over. It's kind of weird that mom and dad are asleep and the babysitter is in the living room making out with a boy or something. That's what I assume. Don't take my word on that, but... I told you, back upstairs. Well, we were a little bit hungry. We never got nothing to eat. Poor Robin. Look how she's holding the teddy bear. She's all sad. And look at the way she's stomping her feet. She's... She's not happy. Back in her room. I can't interact with anything either. Yeah, she's just grumpy. Oh, wow. What the heck? Oh, no. Is our world turning around somehow? Maybe she's asleep now? Oh, look at that. Look at the dragon. Um, I wish I could interact with it. I drew that. That's the picture, though, of the family. Of my family. Okay. We're hoping to get something to eat, I think. The bear and the box. Okay, I assume I have to go in there, but let's check. Yeah, it's gonna... It's just gonna cycle us back around until we do that. Not a whole lot of free choices here. I think I don't think there's gonna be any replay value to this. Oh yeah, the first time we met. Oh, she's going back. Maybe she's dreaming of like when she first met her teddy bear. This one's you, Monte. Oh, look, a little gift. She's remembering opening a gift and getting Monte. Oh, how cool. Okay. Oh, it's her baby carriage, guys. Cool. She's remembering when she was a baby. So small. She's looking at herself as a baby. I don't remember being that small, Monte. Nana always said I was such a quiet baby. So she's seeing herself as a baby. She's got to be remembering or something. I guess so. So she remembered when she was just a baby, like, and getting Monte, her teddy bear, for the first time. That's pretty cool. I like that. A question of cleanliness. And again, we probably can't do anything else but explore that that memory or whatever. Yeah. And we can't leave. Yeah, it's just shaking at us. Okay. Soap. H. Uh, that thing's quite warm. H for hot water. And there's a hot water pipe. Okay, I see. Here's the bathtub. There's no water in there, Monte. And then we got cold water. Yeah, the handle's pretty chilly. Okay, so let's put in... Let's put in some cold water. Turn the cold water on. One drop? One drop? Do we just need one drop of water? 
Okay, one drop of cold. It's gonna be too cold. We need we need some hot water too, right? Okay. Let's check it out. Oh, there's not enough water. Okay, how about two drops of hot water and one drop of cold? Because I know that I kind of like a hot bath. Especially as a kid. Oh, it's too hot, of course. Okay, how about another drop of cold water then? Okay, check it out now. Oh, I guess that's good. Two drops of water each. Two drops of hot water, two drops of cold water. Just perfect. I just need soap. And that was over here. We're going to take a bath. Just right. <laughs> that's cute. I do like the art style. Though. She's got bubbles everywhere all over the floor. Just like a nine-year-old kid, right? The soap all up in her hair. Mom? Yes, Robin? Mom, why do I have to take a bath? Well, it, it, uh, if you didn't uh, wash, you'd get really smelly and dirty. I like how the writing here is kind of like a nine-year-old kid's handwriting. That's kind of cute. It kind of adds to the, uh, it's kind of hard to read a little bit at times, but, uh, it's definitely how the nine-year-old girl would write her handwriting, evidently. So her mom's telling her, if you don't, if you didn't wash, you'd get smelly and dirty. Huh. But I don't feel dirty. Well, that's all good and well, but that doesn't uh, mean you're clean, honey. <laughs> Your body just gets dirty naturally over time, sweetie. Oh, okay. <laughs> she dunks her head down to clean the soap out. So, Mom, why can't we be more like cats? Oh, no. Uh, what do you mean? Like, why can't we lick ourselves clean? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, uh, Robin, why can't we lick ourselves clean? Th does that not sound like a young kid? Maybe not nine. Uh, maybe that seems more like a question that maybe a five or six-year-old would ask. But, okay. It's still cute, nonetheless. Mom, why can't we just lick ourselves clean? I don't want to take a bath. Oh, Robin, don't be gross. And that's just like what a mom would say. Besides, honey, you love taking baths. Oh, okay, Mom, I was just wondering. <laughs> All right. All right, so it puts us back here, and it evidently points us where we need to go. And we go back this way. The Trouble 2. Hmm. Got a chair. Nothing else I can do but interact with the chair. Monte, who are these bears? You know, I once saw a man fall from a tree. It's a big bear. He just got up and tried again. Huh. So... And again, oh my gosh. He just kept going. And then... Uh, I guess that's Monte. Monte says, what a fool. Or another bear says, what a fool. Oh yes, quite the fool. I wonder if he's talking about himself. <laughs> like I was saying, Brendan, uh, mice are pretty nice. Indeed. Oh, can I have the sugar? Sugar? Oh, I completely forgot. Robin, be a deer and, and find some sugar, please. So the bears are talking. Who are the bears supposed to be resembling? I don't know. Okay, so we gotta find sugar? Fear in the dark. How do I find sugar? Hmm. I mean, this is the only choice, so... Fear in the dark. What's going on here? There's nothing to do. I can't interact with anything. Um... What do I do? Oh, interact here. 
Oh, we're sitting on the top of the landing. Oh, we're, um, we're upstairs listening in on mom and dad talking or something, or mom and somebody. She'll grow out of it, so I, I, I don't know what you're worried for. Mom talking. I'm not worried, I just think if you encouraged her more. Okay, Dad. I tried, but she just didn't like it. I know, honey, but if you were a bit more firm. Okay. Firm? If she can't sleep by herself, no amount of firmness is going to change that. Okay, but I think she's old enough to be sleeping in her own bed. Oh, nine years old. Mom and Dad are kind of uh, having a little argument here. Uh, Dad's trying to tell Mother that she that the Mother needs to be more firm with her and not just give in all the time. And she's too old to be sleeping with them. Okay, I, I have to agree with Dad if that's the case. Huh. Good night, Mother says. And the door closes. Hmm. What's going on with that? Why did the door close? Like, did, uh, did the dad leave, or... Like, are they not sleeping in the same room? Because of that argument? It's kind of what it seems like there. I don't know. Creepy. Oh, wow. Mom? She's scared. Oh, Mom says, it's only the dark, Monte. Oh, no, she's talking to Monte. It's only the dark, Monte. But she's scared. Yeah, you can definitely hear her voice. She's terrified. Mom says there's nothing to be afraid of, Monty. Oh, crap. It's the evil. It's the monster that she's imagining in her head as a kid would. Little one. Oh, no. She's got up from bed. She's scared. Oh. I see you. Oh, wow. Poor kid. Poor Robin. She's going to Mom and Dad's room. Yep. Oh, no. Just close your eyes. Oh, man. She's... Not much longer until we meet again. Oh, my God. Her imagination is going nuts. All right, I'm just going to keep going the same way. Yep. All right. Mom? It's not the mom. Mom, I can't sleep. Oh, Dad's saying, not again. I can imagine that for sure. Look at her. Look at her holding that bear. Mom? Mom? You say yes, sweetie. Wait, wait, I guess mom, please, can I, can I stay in here with you? Oh, no. Dad's going to get mad. Yes, you Christ's sake. Yep. Sure, honey. Just just hop in the middle. Oh, man. Oh, wow. Nine years old and still getting scared of the dark and sleeping with mom and dad. I mean, I feel bad for her being scared of the dark and everything like that, but at some point, I know that our son slept with my wife and I until he was pretty old. I think he was like five or something like that. He was way too big. I thought he was way too big to be sleeping with us, but it's hard when they're your kid to tell them no, especially when you hear the fear in their voice like this. But, yeah, I mean, you're not doing the kid any good by continuing to let him sleep with mom and dad. Probably not doing the relationship very, you know, any good either if a kid's only sleeping between you two and, uh, you know, maybe other things should be going on. Cuddling, whatever. Oh boy, this is uh, this is not good, guys. I mean, I feel bad for her, but on the way home, she's asleep. 
Phil, and let's just see what we do. Oh, Dad says Burger Boys is on the left. Uh, you big. Get me, uh, give me a big boy and a large chip. This is in, okay, I think that chips over there in, like, England is, like, our fries. I'm not real sure. So maybe somebody can let me know. I, I, this game seems like it's British because, you know, she was saying, uh, not hungry, you know. Uh, and, uh, I think chips over there in England or Britain, though, is, is fries over here in America. Maybe somebody can let me know. Anyway, who wants a burger and fries? That's what I'm going to assume. Okay, and Mom's saying, Okay, Robin, sweetie, what do you want? Robin? And she's asleep. Are you asleep? No, Mom, I'm awake. Would you like nuggets or a burger, honey? I want nuggets, Mom. Oh, and Dad says, Don't forget a lemonade for her. Huh. Well, at least Dad loves us, right? <laughs> and there she is picking out. I like it. I like it. Look at her just dumping the box of nuggets and fries right into her face. <laughs> I like it. Look how she's still in. It looks like she's still in her house shoes and her her pajamas or whatever. And look where you how you can see the uh, the joints on her arms there. I do like the art style here. Tree in the background out the window. I like it. Okay. Now what? Now what, Monte? Yes, the, nice. the sound of the sea. Let's go Where did I put them? Hey, That's the mom. The God, why is it so hard to find anything around here? Robin, have you seen my earrings? Oh, mom lost her earrings. Mom. <laughs> it looks like a donut. Monty, I think they're in there. In where? In the bucket? It smells, like smells like fish. Ew. Oh, my swimming stuff. Oh, how cute. She puts on her flippers and... Oh, that's cute. She's going to go swimming. Okay. Let's do it. Now we're in the lake. You know, I, I, you know what I think, guys. I think that this is. I think she's looking in the bathtub. Actually, that's my guess. I mean, why would mom have her, lost her earrings in a lake? So she's in the bathtub, imagining that she's swimming underwater. Gotta be. I mean, you gotta think like a kid, right? And we come up to a fish, of course. Seven, oh, oh, I'm a fish. No more, no less. <laughs> All right. Looking for earrings here. Looking in the bottom of the bathtub for earrings. The ocean is deep and cold. Yeah, she's definitely not in the ocean. I'm just saying. Uh, just like that. No more stars. Hi, fish. Oh, what a hungry sort. Have you seen my earrings anywhere? Oh, my mom's earrings? Oh, here they are. Hey, we got a fish up here, though. Okay, so I found them. I found the earrings. Go give them to Mom. The voices, uh, collide. The voices collide. Another fight. Uh-oh, we're gonna listen in. Uh-oh. I can tell by the music it's not gonna be good. I knew it. Yeah, it's so Oh, honey, it was a mistake. Uh-oh. You're a pig. Oh, no. Oh, no, guys. This is not good. So, first of all, what's not good is children hearing mom and dad fight. And even if you think they're not, as shown here, perfectly illustrated, I think, she's hearing everything. And, uh... Listening in from the top of the stairs. And I think this goes to show a perfect symbolism or uh, a perfect way to demonstrate how, you know, sometimes parents, we fight and we argue, whatever, even if we think they don't hear us or they don't know what's going on, they most definitely do. 
and now we have a situation where for whatever reason um maybe because she's sleeping in bed between them at least part of the problem is you know kids coming in between mom and dad every single night dad's now cheated dad's now found somewhere else to get what he should be getting in his bed but uh, Robin is always between them in bed and I hate to blame this on Robin but you know I don't blame it on Robin as much as I maybe blame it on you know just a situation or blame it even on a mother for always giving in and allowing a nine-year-old to come sleep in the bed between them definitely not good so now, now dad has went elsewhere to get what it, you know his needs taken care of and here they are fighting about it and mother's like you're a pig and the bad thing here is you know robin the little girl hears everything this is sad you hear any of it. but honey i didn't mean anything you know what's up? i'm sorry <laughs> you make me sick what's your video? keep your voice down we don't want robin to hear yeah just get out man this is not good oh man Okay, she's not happy. Look how she's holding her bear. Upstairs? Won't let me. Oh, she's running. And mom's saying, get out! Okay. Daddy, wait, please! Daddy, stop, please! Oh, and he left. Please. Dad. Oh, she's crying. Oh, she... This is heartbreaking. This kind of shows what happens to a kid when mom and dad fight or when when one of the other leaves, when dad leaves. And the sad thing here, guys, is the reason this is so heartbreaking, even though, you know, this has really never happened to me as a kid. My parents are still together. But, you know, I've definitely witnessed fights as a kid. And I know this happens all too often. I'm really surprised this, uh, this little narrative game on Steam hasn't done better. Uh, because I know this is hitting a lot of you guys out there right in the fields. I mean, this is hitting me in the fields. And if you've been a kid, or you are a kid, and this has affected you, or maybe you're involved in a separation right now, you know, in a marriage, and you know this is hurting your kids, this, this narrative is way too... It's cute, but it's way too realistic definitely happens way too often and it is sad poor Robin who doesn't feel sorry for Robin there I mean that's extremely sad poor girl some missed time I just got off the phone with Nana that's mom talking grandma I'm sorry Robin but she can't make it today oh man we're just getting nothing but heartbreak after heartbreak is uh, Robin here uh, we was uh, getting excited to see grandma and grandma can't come now I know she promised honey but she's feeling a little poor oh no now now grandma's sick Oh, just don't go here. No, we don't want to lose Grandma now after already losing Dad. Oh boy. I don't know if I want to... No, I don't want to listen. <laughs> I just want to go to my room. And it's not going to let me though. Oh boy, what now? What do you mean, not looking good? Oh no. She's hearing Mom on the phone. You said she had all the clear. Yep, talking to the nurses or a doctor. So what can be done? This can't be right. There has to be something you can do. Please. Oh no, we're gonna lose grandma now. Man, this sucks. The same old show. Huh, she wants to watch her TV show. Just in time. Oh, I didn't bring my drink. Oh, okay. Alright. Turn the TV on. 
Yep, Channel 5, 330 p.m. Isn't that just like a kid? They have their shows, the, whatever show it is that you have to watch. Rats, rats, rats. Big as blooming cats. <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> rats, rats, rats. Big as blooming cats. <laughs> Sounds like a kid show, too, for sure. Honey, where are you? Oh, what do you mean you can't make it? Oh, she's talking to... She's talking to Dad now. Now Dad can't come? Yup, Dad. She's been waiting all day, Jeremy. And again, even though she... Notice, notice here, guys. Even though she's got her TV blaring, she's watching her TV show, she's still hearing every single word. Notice that. I want you guys to notice that out there. Kids are very observant, and like I say, even when you think that they're watching TV or they're absorbed in a video game or whatever, they definitely hear what's going on. They know. She's been waiting all day, Jeremy. You didn't even call to say you weren't coming. She's your daughter, Jeremy. Yep. Wow. Always the same old rubbish with you. No, just shut up. So dad said something back about, you know, whatever. Arguing again. And, uh... She can, you can tell, look at her face, she does not look happy. Normally a kid should be happy watching their TV show. Look at that face while she's watching her favorite TV show. This, this game is really sad. It's, it's depressing. I hope something happy, you know, I hope something happy happens, or... I hope something happy happens in the end here. Cross our fingers, right? A thump and a kick. Uh-oh, she's not happy. Mom, I don't want to go. Robin, you have to go to school, honey. Please, Mom. I'm sorry, sweetie. Aww. Mom, I hate it. Oh, no. Guys. A little girl not wanting to go to school that bad, that's more than troubled home. That's trouble at school. This is more than she doesn't want to do the schoolwork. She's getting picked on or something at school. That is even sadder. So she has all this going on at home. She has grandma sick. Dad's left. Mom and dad are splitting up. Um, dad's cheated on mom. All that. And now she's getting picked on at school too. And she really, really hates it because of that. Man, this sucks. Please don't make me, Mom. Aww. Honey, you've already missed way too much school. Mom, no. It'll be okay, Robin. No, I hate you. Oh, man, she went there. No kid hates their parents. Even if they say it, you know, they don't mean it. She just doesn't want to go to school. She hates getting picked on. She doesn't hate her mother. She hates getting picked on or whatever's going on at school. That's just a guess. Oh, honey, don't be like that, Robin. I'll be right here when you come out. Yeah, she's still not happy. And here we are in school. Now. I was stay hushed. Uh... Charlie has two apples. And Sam has five apples. How many horses can Charlie feed with two apples? Um, Charlie, not Sam. Sam had five, so Charlie had two. So he can feed two horses, I would get. That's the only thing that makes sense. Wrong! Oh no. You can't feed any! A horse's diet must consist of more than just apples. Oh man, come on. Is she getting picked on by the teacher? That's gotta be the teacher. Stupid girl. Oh, come on. No way. Alright, I think here, guys, kind of like she was swimming in the ocean when she was probably really looking in the bathtub of her mom's uh, earrings. I think this is not exactly what's happening at school but more how the teacher is making uh, Robin feel. This is how she's taken getting wrong answers or saying the wrong thing in class. 
still really, uh, really heartbreaking. Now, what is six times seven? Well, that's 42, we know that. Oh, shut up. Oh, come on. Yeah, a teacher's not going to tell a nine-year-old class or a nine-year-old student to shut up. Yeah, she's taking everything really bad. And it, a lot of it might have to do with, you know, the bad home life, everything else that's going on. You fool. Now everyone point and laugh at the fool. Oh, no. Yeah, no teacher would ever say that. I mean, I can't imagine it. That's just, again, I think this is how she feels. Oh, no. And all her classmates are laughing at her. Look at her face. Look at her burying her head in her desk. Man, this is so sad. I feel so, so sad for her. The petulant child. Um, if anybody doesn't know, petulant kind of means uh, troubled or stubborn. Um irritable kind of like that um, so a troubled child a irritable child Robin, you can't have ice cream before you finished your dinner uh oh dad would let me well i said no oh boy robin where do you think you're going Oh no, it won't let me go back and eat, guys. It's just making me go to the right. Robin, come back here and finish your food. Yeah, I have no options except stomping. Stomping my way. Don't you dare open that freezer. Oh no, it's gonna make me. Robin, I'm warning you. If I have to get up, I swear, Robin. You better not touch your daughter. You better not be mean. She's getting ice cream. Robin, Ellen, jo James, put that down. I'll throw it in the bin, right? If I have to get out of this chair, Robin, that's it. Oh, boy. Oh, she drug her up to her room and slammed the door. She's so stupid. Talking to her bear. I hate her, Monty. She made dad leave. Oh no. Man. A friend to call. Hey, that sounds good. Let's call a friend. No shouting. No shouting. Okay. A box of spring rolls. Sounds good. Are we hungry? Oops, I dropped it. Oh, we got a lever here. Lever. Chair. Oh, whoa! I just dumped the chair in the water? That's a little bizarre. Okay, but now at least I can cross, right? It was in my way, right? Hi, bear. Hi, bigger bear. How are you? Don't eat me. Sorry, I can't let you pass. And he's eating my he's eating my rolls. What? I'm so hungry. You're still hungry? Alright, well the pass, I guess I have to go get you more rolls, right? A lever. Oh, we're going to have to get rid of him. Uh, look, Monty, a soapbox. Okay. Yeah, we got some more rolls there. Okay, I think I see what we got to do. We're going to have to lure the big bean bear in here. We're going to put this right on the, yeah, right on the trap door here. And then we're going to say, come here, bear. I can't let you pass, sorry. So hungry. How do I get him to follow me? Do I put him down in front of me? Maybe, maybe he'll come closer. Come here, bear. Okay, same thing. Okay, let's do this. Okay, we had uh, a lever. I need to hit the lever when the bear comes over here, but how do I get the bear over here? 
soapbox. Oh, okay, over here. Come here, bear. Come here, bear. Yep, there we go. All right, now he's eating the rolls. Yep. Bye-bye. There we go. Well, that took a minute, but... Now we can continue. Oh boy. We did all that so we can listen to more bad news. Maybe Dad will come back. Maybe that's what this is. Maybe it's something happy, right? With Jeremy gone and Mom in the hospital, I just can't take it anymore. This is Mom talking. And Robin's been playing up or acting up. Robin's been acting up lately. She blames me. Can you believe it? After all he did, now she blames me. I'm just fed up. I can't. No, no, it's okay. I'll be fine. Yeah, I'll see you soon. Okay, so she's not talking to mom. Mom's not, I mean, grandma. Grandma's in the hospital. I don't know who she's talking to, but... Talking to somebody and saying she's fed up. The fading light. Okay. These are her favorite color, Monte. Flowers. And we picked them. We get some flowers. Oh, get well. We're in, we're in Grandma's hospital room or in her house. Yeah, we're in the hospital. Look at the uh, bed. Nana? We picked these for you. Monty and me. <laughs> I'll leave them right here, Nana. Aw, how sweet of her. Mom says when you're better, you can come stay with us, Nana. I made a drawing, but, but Mom lost it. Aw. Nana? I love you, Nana. I hope you feel better soon. No. Same thing. Basically telling Nana she loves her. She hopes she gets better soon. Evil eyes. Uh oh. It's locked, Monty. Place your items here. What items? I can't get in there, Monte. No crouch. No jump. Alright, well, let's put Monte down, like it says here. There you go, Monte. Oh, now we're Monte. Okay. Oh, Monte can go under here. Don't die, Monte. You know, that doesn't even look like a teddy bear. That looks like a, uh, like a stuffed, like, uh, lion. Yeah, that's like a stuffed lion teddy bear. See, I thought it was a teddy bear this whole time. What do you see, Monte? Oh, another stuffed lion. It's me. It's a twin. Brother. What have they done to you? And more. I wonder if parent the parents kept buying her the same stuffed uh, lion over and over again because they got so dirty or torn or whatever. That's kind of what I'm thinking here. Down in storage or something like that, hidden from from Robin. Parents kept buying her new her new favorite toys over the years uh, because she loved it so much, but it would get dirty and torn. That's what I'm imagining here. That's probably why. Something like that. Alright, we hit a button. I did it. I did it, Robin. Come here, Monte. Thank you, Monte. Now I can go in the door. Okay, wait a minute. What? What? What's going on here? Uh, what about some food? 
No! Can I get you anything, honey? No! Look at how she's under the kitchen table. Oh, come on now, sweetie. Don't be like that. You need to eat. Would you like to go to the park? No! Oh, wow. We could get ice cream. Hey, we know how much she likes ice cream. She went to get it. No? No ice cream? Robin, please come out from under there. No. Yeah, definitely some troubled times at home here. Her relationship with her mom has gone to the, gone to the tank. Yeah, she even offered to take her to the toy store there. No? Mom's surprised. No. God, Robin, come out here right now, honey. And you know Mom desperately wants to cling to her daughter. Fine, then. Man, this is so freaking sad. Ay, ay, ay. It's dark in the ground. Oh no, Nana's gonna die. Mm hmm. Oh no. A cold, dark bench. A cold, brown bench. We're in a chapel. Man, God. Not Nana. Oh, I had to cry today knowing such a wonderful person has left us. She brought happiness to everyone that knew her. She was a joy to be around. And she was very generous. She was strong, fighting until the end. Catherine will be remembered. Man, this is so freaking sad. So, she's probably listening to somebody, maybe even her father with his eulogy of Nana. Grandma. Man. Is she She's not coming back, is she? Aw. Poor Robin. Now the mean kids, too, on top of all this? This is horrible, guys. A gate. Open a gate. Oh, look at that slide. Mom says it's too dangerous. At nine? Yeah, nine. Mom's a little bit overprotective if we can't go down a twirly slide at nine years old. Huh. This isn't as fun as... Uh, this isn't as fun as what? Wait a minute. This isn't as fun as on my own, Monte. Okay, so she don't like the seesaw, because Monty don't weigh enough to bounce it back and forth, probably. Hey, there you go. That's better. It's happening again. I like the squeaky. You get It's squeaking as she goes back and forth. That's cool. What's happening again? Getting picked on? Oh, swing. Here we go. I can't go left and right, it won't let me just swing more. That'd be cool if you could. Robin, Robin. She has no friends. Robin, Robin. Her grandma's dead. Oh my god. Stop it. She's so sad. I'm not listening. She has a no dad. Leave me alone. Robin, Robin, Robin. And her stupid bear. Oh my god. When she's home, no one's there. And now she's crying again. Man, kids are kids are definitely so freaking cruel. I mean, kids have no, no, um, they just don't hold back. They say the meanest things. And, you know, kids were cruel even when I was a kid and when I was really young. But they, I, I think they're way more cruel now. Um... Man, this sucks. I mean, she's getting picked on, and the bad thing is, if you're not in the cool kids, you know, uh, group, if you would, at school, then one of the cool kids says something mean to you, then everybody wants to be cool like the cool kids, so then everybody, even if they know they're being mean, or even if they have reservations about saying mean things, they're going to do it just to try to fit in. 
So then you get poor Robin here uh, feeling ganged up on by people that maybe she even thinks is her friend. They're suddenly all saying cruel things. Oh, she has no dad. Oh, look at her carrying the teddy bear just to try to get a laugh or whatever. It's really, really... I don't... I don't envy kids nowadays, especially, you know, when they're not popular or when they're not cool at school. Um... It can make it can make going to school a very scary experience, something you dread very much, as we saw earlier. Her basically pleading with mom, I don't want to go to school today. And now we see why. Poor Robin. Man, this thing is so sad. Yes, thing was in my Mummers on the other side. What? Good evening, Robin. The hell? Come on in. What? Wait a minute. No, I, I do not want to crawl in the big bear's mouth. No. It's gonna make me, though. Oh, what the heck? Oh, we're inside its, like, belly or whatever now. Ew. This is gross. Monty, it smells weird in here. I wonder if she's dreaming. Like, her bad life, her her horrible life right now of parents splitting up and grandma dying and getting picked on at school is now making her have nightmares of being in a bear's belly. Like being eaten by a bear or whatever. I don't think he brushed his teeth. That's sweeties. The sweeties could be mom saying sweetie to her all the time. Sweetie, 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 you didn't eat your dinner. It's kind of slimy. No. Alright. Little bear. Hello. As you can see, we're running low. It's sweetness that keeps it in sweet. Huh. Uh, yeah. Something like that. All right, that was bizarre. Okay, so she's having weird dreams, is all I can assume from that. I don't know what that's... A lonely place, indeed. Honey, don't go too far. All right, it kind of looks like we're in a park. But man, that grass is tall. Of course, remember when you're a kid, tall, you know, grass that needs to be cut is gonna seem that tall to you. Like it's coming up your waist, even though it's really not. Uh-oh. We're in the park. What's gonna happen? One of the kids gonna come and take my teddy bear? What's gonna happen? Something's gonna happen. Don't go too far from... Let's go back, Robin. Because mom said don't go too far, right? Mom? Mom? Where are you? Okay, the, the game's telling me I'm going the wrong way. That's why it's shaking like that. Oh, I can hold shift down. Yeah, we gotta go back this way, guys. Sorry about that. I was like wanting to not go too far because mom just told us not to go too far, but the game forces you to take whatever way it wants you to go, and it usually faces you wherever you need to go, so. We're still getting those shakes. I don't know. We're just gonna continue to go this way. Are you? Yep, she lost her mother in the park. Hey, the park is a big place when you're a kid. Mom! Mom? Mom? Mom, where are you? Oh no, now she's got, now she's lost. And scared, probably. 
Damn it. Poor Robin. Like, it's like anything that can go wrong does go wrong. Poor kid. Mom. Mom. Hmm. Now what? It's over. Oh boy. Oh no! No, mother! No! No, guys! No! Oh, this is. This might be the saddest part right here. Guys, look. The picture I drew of mom, dad, and me, and I put on my wall. It's gone. Where is it, mother? Mother, I want my picture back right now. Monty, mom hates me. Can I, can I go out? I'm locked in my room. I keep, I'm knocking to try to get out of here. Oh no. She's locking me in my own room? This is not good. Monty, sometimes I see Mom crying and I don't know what to do. No matter what I do, I can't make her hi I can't seem to make her happy. Monty, I need to tell Mom that I'm sorry. Aww. There she is. There's Mom. Mom, wait. Mom. Mom, I can't keep up. Mom, slow down. Mom, don't walk so fast. Mom, are you okay? I'm sorry. What? What's going on? Her world's turning upside down again. She's falling. I can't do anything. No. Oh, man. Falling. What's going on? Like you always do. Into the darkness again. Monty, you're slipping from me. Oh no, she lost her freaking doll. Nothing can save you now. Alone again. Don't even have Monty. Oh, he's right there on the floor. I'm sleeping. I'm having a nightmare, right? That's a blanket over me. Looks a little bit weird, but that's got to be just a blanket. I hope I'm not imagining that dark stuff on the blanket being blood. Is that what that is? Did she get killed? Robin. That was mom coming in and saying Robin. What? What? Man, dark. This is this is a dark narrative. Very, very dark. Very depressing. Very sad. And I think the reason it's really so sad is because we know this kind of uh, these kind of feelings and emotions that this game's bringing on affect way too many families and way too many kids out there right now. And if this narrative that I've played today has affected you out there, whether you're a kid or whether you're a mother or father, you know, in whatever way, uh, I apologize. Uh, hopefully in some way it's helped you or entertained you. But yeah, what a dark game. I can't do anything either. I think it's over. Like, does this mean she died? Is that why we're seeing darkness? Like, did Robin die? I'm not understanding the meaning of the end there. Her doll's on the floor. She's not waking up. It almost looked like blood was covering that blanket. I can go for a cake right about now. Shame she didn't find the sugar. Yeah, such a shame. Hmm. I didn't find the sugar. What is that supposed to symbolize? I didn't find the sugar. 
I didn't find anything sweet in life. Or is this... I didn't really... I don't really think there's anything else that I missed in the game. I don't think that... I mean, the game felt like it pushed you in a certain direction every time. But yeah, and it's still, uh... Still... A little Miss Lonely. Wow. Wow, guys. What a dark game. Hmm. Yeah, and the game only has one review on it on the Steam page. Wow, guys, that was a very dark and mysterious ending there. Her falling, her being in bed, not waking up, the bear on the floor. Her, let's try to remember, we go back to the end there. She tells their teddy bear that she wants to apologize to mom. And she needs to apologize to mom. And she goes out of her room and she can't seem to catch mom. Mom, you're going too fast. And the next thing we know, we're falling. We lose our teddy bear as we fall. And then it goes dark for like a long moment. And then the next thing we see, we see Robin lying in bed. I don't know that that was blood covering the blanket. I mean, it's hard to tell with that art style, but really, really dark and depressing. Um, like, like, maybe, maybe she didn't really die, but maybe she just felt like she wanted to die. I could certainly imagine a kid in that situation with everything going that bad. I could certainly imagine a kid feeling like they want to die. Like they don't want to be here anymore. Like, nobody loves them. Dad left. Grandma's gone. Mom's always uh, maybe irritable and mean because mom's got a lot going on too. Regardless of whatever the end meant there, you guys will have to tell me down in the comments below what do you think the ending meant there. Let me know if this uh, narrative affected you in any way, if it made you cry, if it made you feel emotion, um, whatever it was, let me know down in the comments below. Let me know if you enjoyed it as well. I hope you did. But I don't really get the meaning there unless it just means that poor Robin just wanted to die. I could definitely see depression setting in for Robin. Or any child going through that kind of a life that young and that truly is sad no child should have to go through all that pain of losing grandma and getting picked on at school with only one parent I firmly believe that pretty much all kids to be their best need a, both a mother and a father in their life and, uh, you know, I think it takes two. I think both are equally important. I think mom has that nurturing side, the comforting side for kids in most situations. And dad is that firm, you know, confident voice that, that kids trust and kids trust to protect them. Um, you know, make them not being scared at night and stuff like that. Uh, dad's safe. Dad's one to protect you as a kid. And mom is, like I say, more that nurturing, you know, kind of role in most situations. But let me know, please, what this narrative did for you. Definitely made me feel a lot of emotions. Definitely a really good game. And I want to go ahead again and thank uh, the developer of this game for handing me a Steam key to play this for you guys and give me the opportunity to play it. And it is made by Club Cotton Games. And I'm looking here to see if they have any other games. Nope, just this one. And again, this game launched back on June the 9th. And if you'd like to play it yourself, I'll have the link down in the description below. I like it, guys. Um, thanks so much for watching. Thanks so much for being here with me. Be sure you comment down below. Be sure you like my video. And we'll be back here again real soon. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. This has been Zax399. Be sure you go out there and hug your child or mom and dad right now. Don't forget. It's important. Take care, everybody. Have a good one.